Hello. In this session, we will look at how we can make use of shared credentials and the shared configuration files to give Terraform the necessary permissions to create the resources on the AWS platform. So in the last couple of sessions, we have looked at how we can uh, um, provide the access key and secret key within the provider block. And then in, in the other session, we looked at how we can make use of the environment variables to store the access key and secret key to give the necessary permissions and this is the third option that we have where we can store the credentials in a file and then we can call that file in the provider block to give the necessary permission so the aws provider it can also uh, source the credentials that is it can read the credentials and other settings from a shared configuration file so we can have the configurations and these credentials in two separate files and the aws provider will be able to read the details from these files now by default if you're on the linux machine and the mac os machine uh, this is where you can store or this is where the files will be located so dollar home dot aws slash config and dollar home slash dot aws slash credentials so this is where the credentials will be available and this is where the config will be available and if you're on the windows machine it will be under user profile slash dot aws slash config and user profile dot aws slash credentials file so basically you'll have two files one where your config will be stored and the other where your credentials will be stored now uh, in addition to these files you'll also need to provide a profile now if you don't specify a profile then the default profile will be used we'll talk more about this profile in some time so you can use the profile parameter or you can define the profile by using this aws underscore profile environment variable to specify whatever profile you want to use now how do you call the shared configuration file and the credential files so within the provider block you can pass these parameters which is shared underscore config underscore files and shared underscore credentials underscore files within the provider block or you can also declare it as environment variables by using aws underscore config underscore file and aws underscore shared underscore credentials underscore file so the config file will be for the shared configuration file and the credentials file will be for the shared credentials file so you basically we will be maintaining two files one where our credentials will be stored and the other where the config will be stored so this is how you will be declaring the provider block so here i have my server so let me create a folder called terraform and we'll go to that folder and then within this let me create ec2 and we'll move to the ec2 and let me create the main.tf file now here we'll give the provider block so this is my provider and for the credentials we will ideally be using this shared underscore config underscore files and here you'll have to give the path where the config files are available likewise you'll be using this shared underscore credentials underscore files credentials underscore files and here you'll be specifying the location where your credentials file is available so in our case this is where i will be uh, creating so slash home slash ubuntu slash dot aws slash conf this is where i'll be storing the conf file and this is where i will be storing the credentials file so ubuntu slash dot aws slash creds now these are custom paths so you can give whatever you want in addition to this we will also need to provide a profile now what is a profile now imagine you have uh, multiple accounts like you have a dev account you have a prod account you have a uat account likewise you have different different accounts now for each of these accounts you'll have different different credentials like the access key and secret key respective to that account now we can make use of this profile to specify 
which credentials you want so i can say profile as prod which will indicate that i want to use the prod access key and secret key likewise if i say profile as dev that means i want to use the dev account access key and secret key so let's say here for now i'll prof i'll specify this custom profile so this is user defined you can give whatever you want but whatever the value you are using here the same value should be available within your conf file and the credentials file and then finally we will give the region so basically where you want to create the resources so in my case i want to create the resources in this location and we'll close the block so um, we'll also create a resource block but before that let's create these uh, files so let me go to slash home slash ubuntu here i'm going to create a dot aws folder we'll go to the dot aws folder and we'll create two files one is the conf and the other is the cred so this is what i have specified so let me show you into terraform ec2 main.tf so you can see here slash home slash ubuntu dot aws conf and then slash home slash ubuntu dot aws cred so that is what i have created so within these files you will be giving the configuration so let's open up the conf file and here we will be providing this information so you see here this profile this is what i am calling us so you have to make sure that you're using the same profile name if not you will get an authentication problem so let's give it this give the name so this will be the custom profile and uh, my region will be us east one and my output would be json so this becomes my configuration file and likewise we are going with the creds now for the creds this is what you'll have to provide again here if you see the profile name you have to make sure that you're passing the right profile name so let's provide that this will be custom profile and then uh, aws underscore access key id and then aws underscore secret access key all right now you'll have to provide the values for this now you can get these values from the iam console where you have your iam user so if you don't have the access key and secret key you can generate your access key and secret key so here i have my user example user and i have created the access key and secret key and i'm going to use this so we'll call the access key we'll provide that over here likewise we'll provide the secret key which is this one all right and we will save this file so now we have the con file and we have the creds file all right let's go back to the um, uh, main.tf file so let's go to terraform ec2 and here i'll go to my main.tf file so now we have the necessary files and now i'll define my resource block so let's say resource i want to launch aws instance let's call this as example instance and my instance type would be t2.micro and my ami would be so let's so let me pick the ami from here so i'll copy this ami and we'll provide that and close the resource block so let's save this file and initialize this because it's a new server and i'm writing this code for the first time there's something that is missing uh let me see i might have missed something um okay the quotes if you see it's not right so let me provide this here and we'll provide this here so let me save this and let me try this once again okay so here this is downloading the plugin for me the aws plugin and this is done and now we will do the terraform plan and here it should make use of the shared uh, config file and the shared credentials file and you can see it is showing me the plan that means my terraform is able to use those credentials authenticate to aws and if we execute this it will create the resources for us 
So this is how we can make use of the shared config file and the shared credentials file to give the necessary permissions. Now, this is one way you can also make use of AWS configure. So if you have worked with AWS CLI, you can make use of the AWS configure command which will generate this uh, config file and the credentials file automatically and then we can call that so one way is you can create you can go with a custom path and you can choose where you want the config file and the credentials file but you'll have to manually create these files and if you're using the aws configure command then the aws cli the aws cli tool that we have that will automatically create the config file and the credentials file and we can use that also so let me quickly show that example as well so for that uh, we will need to have cli here so first let me check if i have cli or not so i don't have let me quickly install this so aws cli and this will install the aws cli tool for me now i'm getting an error this is because i'll have to update the system so let me quickly update the system here Just waiting for this to complete the update and done. Now we'll try installing the CLI and this should install the CLI tool for me. Now once the CLI is installed, I can simply use, uh, I can simply run the AWS configure command. So if you have worked with AWS CLI, you will know how you can make use of the AWS configure command. Just waiting for this to complete. And this is done. So you can validate by running this AWS hyphen iPhone version and which version of CLI is installed. Now all you have to do is run this AWS configure command. Now this will prompt you for the access key, the secret key, the region, and all that information basically. So here we'll get the access key. I'll provide the access key. I'll provide the secret key. So I want to go with US East 1 region and my output format is JSON. Now what this will do is under your root this will create a dot aws folder and within this dot aws folder we should be able to see the config file and the credentials file so whatever we have given here these credentials are stored in this credentials file and this config details are stored in the config file all right now i can use this to authenticate to aws so how do we do that so let me uh, go to my terraform code and let me open up the main.tf file so now instead of using all these so we won't be using this all we have to do is just specify the profile so here in my profile i will be using this name called default so that's the profile name that gets created if you're not sure you can look at the config and the credentials file so let me show this under credentials you will see it is using default and that is what we are pointing over here as well all right and this will also give the necessary permissions so now if i run the plan this will also allow terraform to authenticate to aws and create the resources for us okay so you can see you're able to see the plan so if you want to go with custom path like if you want to store the config file and the credentials in a custom path you can go with this option and if you're not worried about the path then you can simply go with this option where you simply run the aws configure command give the necessary details aws will generate the config file and the credentials file and all we have to do is just give the profile name as default and terraform will be able to read the credentials for us so that's how we can make use of the shared credentials and uh, uh, shared configuration files to give the permission so that terraform can create the resources for us that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like 
and please share the video.